Okay guys, so my goal today is to make some salmon patties and a uh, funfetti cake with, I think it's just white, yeah, vanilla icing. So uh, this is going to be my first time to make this with cornbread stuffing mix. Of course, I've only made salmon patties one time. This is gonna be my second time to make them. <laughs> but uh, one of you subscribers suggested using cornbread stuffing mix and instead of the cornbread mix, so I'm going to try that today. Um, this meal is for me and it's for my mom and my dad. And um, I'm going to fry the salmon patties up, bake a cake, take out enough for me to eat and then send it over to my folks house. So I'm using two cans of Chicken of the Sea pink salmon. And I believe they're like a 14.75 ounce cans. What I'm doing here now is I'm draining the juice out of it so that I can save it. So whenever I mix all my ingredients together, when I get to the end, according to the dryness of the things that I have mixed up, if it's a little on the dry side, then I have this here liquid to pour into it. Now what I'm doing here is I am taking out the little bones and um, as you can see, and then some of the, like if it's got some of the slime on it, I pull off the slime as well. As you can tell. And then I take the salmon and then I just kind of break it up and put it in the bowl.
So now I'm adding two eggs. It's two cans of salmon in here. And now I'm putting in two eggs. Now I'm facing to throw in some salt and pepper. Now some onion powder. And some chopped onion. And I'm going to stir it up. So now it's time to add in some of that juice that we poured out of the can when we first started. Kind of mix that in real good. And let's go ahead and add some more. And then we're going to mix it some more. Let's go ahead and pour some more in here. Now let's go ahead and test and see if it will stick together. And it looks like it's sticking good. So now, let's get ready to put this in the pan. Now it's time to pour in the vegetable oil. And as you can see about how much I have in there, just enough to cover the bottom part of the fritters. So let's go ahead and patty these up. Pat them real good, get them real nice and tight so they'll hold together, and then just drop them in your skillet. And so now I'm checking to see if they're brown on the bottom. If they are, then I'm going to go ahead and flip them over so that they'll cook on the other side. And I'm finding that it's easier to flip them if I have a fork to help turn them. As you can see, I'm using a uh, non-stick spatula. So you need always need to use something like that when you're working with... Um, a non-stick pan type thing. So now I'm putting in the last of the mix that I had and it made three fritters. So I just kind of slid them over and made room to put them in so that they can fry as well. So it looks like the fritters are done. So what I do is I put a paper towel on there to help drain the um, oil off of it or the grease. And I try to fit about four on the plate. Well, maybe five. <laughs> and then I take another paper towel and I put on top of that and I put me some more fritters. And then I put a paper towel on top of that one. Here we go. And 
And of course, I just had to taste it. It looks great on the inside. And boy, they really do taste good. And one thing I like about this, it took less ingredients to make this. So thank you to my lovely subscriber for telling me to use the cornbread stuffing mix. Now, I just hope my parents like it as much as me. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to bake the cake. And I'm pouring in the mix. And it's supposed to take three eggs, but I opened it up and realized I only have two eggs. So we're just going to do this with two eggs. It calls for one cup of water. So that was a half a cup of water. And now I'm fixing to put in another half a cup of water. So now it's time to put in the vegetable oil and it calls for a half a cup. So I'm gonna pour in the half a cup. Now it's time to stir it. Okay, so now that I've got it stirred, now it's time to get out the mixer to really stir it good. Make sure there's no lumps. So now it's time to spray our pan. I'm using a, I guess a 13 by nine pan. I'm spraying it with canola oil. And now let's pour in the batter. Mm, doesn't that look good? Now I'm trying to Spread it out to where the batter is evenly distributed throughout the pan. Okay, so I baked this at 350 for 37 minutes. So now let's do the toothpick test. You just stick it in the cake, and if there's any food still on the toothpick, then it needs to go back in the oven. And it looks like everything is dry, which is very good. So... Now we just gotta let it cool off and we got to icing it. Okay, so now it's time to icing it. The cake has cooled off and I'm just using creamy supreme vanilla. So what I like to do first is I just take a spoon and I empty it. Now we just spread. We've got a cake and we did have 15 fritters, but I ate two of them. So, um, yeah. So my mom and dad will be getting quite a few uh, fritters. And what they'll do is they'll make, probably make some mashed potatoes and stuff like that to go with it. Um, I'm not even sure what I'll have to go with mine, but let's go ahead and cut into the cake. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.